how can we come here so uh, what you can do here is under project go to all uh, you have uh, you're gonna open one of the project and below the related list this is called the related links so under the related links you have a project workbench and also planning console so if you want to look at this what you have right here is it's just one project right the uh, service now ppm implementation is one project you can reveal the status over here all right the status it's green or over here is green and that's the state is pending so you check a number of things over here but if you want to look at in a comprehensive like for project manager this is individually for um, the one who's working on the project maybe uh, give them a good important information but for the project manager they don't have to go through all the little stuff over here so what they need to do is under the planning console when they click the related link the plan then um, show you some of the future here here you can add a task above whatever task you have here and here what you can do is you can add a task below all right those are the futures and the other uh, important thing here is a down arrow is showing you that you can move the current task down in the hierarchy in hierarchy so based on the hierarchy you can make one task down then this is the up arrow over here what you can do here is um, in the hierarchy again you have a task and you make that task is in um, uh, you can renumber it by siblings let's go to the next one so here the arrow as you can see this arrow is pointing to the left so you can unindent a task uh, this is going to change the part in the WBS uh, numbering of the task so some of you might say what is WBS it's a breakdown structure so work breakdown the structure so you can indent it by using that one okay that arrow it is another way of um, uh, indenting and indenting the uh, work the WBS which is the work breakdown structure list so you can once you click over here you can add the number you can change the parent WS number of the task this is the critical show the critical patch wherever you have critical uh, works or task over here you it will be visible over here so any delay for example any delay or anything related with your project critical stuff will be there so what do these the big m in the blue background show you that indicates a project schedule which is calculated automatically or manually so this is m stands for the manual uh, project calculation so this the gear icon or the setting icon is you can you can select the columns to display so whatever column you want to display here right here you have the years and a number of you know columns so you can display those column using that gear icon so here you have when you double click here you can edit it for example earlier I double click it and edit the name so you can do that and then if you make a right click the field to see more actions you can have uh, making right click will give you more action all right let's continue so here the bell icon is a notification so this is generated by the external project task dependency so you can choose to accept or reject change when external dependency is set to off that's an important future so this one is a more action this three dot 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 that's a more action so you can perform more actions on the projects by clicking over there so if you click up there you can do a number of things like you can copy the project you can uh, show the live feed you can print it you can configure it a number of cool features are there all right so this is um, in general this is the breakdown and how we can how we can view or manage our projects our project so the other important is the project work bench let's go ahead and uh, show you as I said earlier this is where you can change uh, back and forth between the planning console and the project workbench don't forget the project workbench it makes it easy for uh, project managers by presenting project information in two panels that's that's how it gonna be looks like so you'll have two panels all right so the top panel it display a timeline so the top panel is this is what it's asking me because I'm visiting it so you, it will show you you can begin tour or you can click cancel so today let's go ahead and uh, begin this tour so it will give us more information all right 
stop guide tour if you want to stop you, you can stop it i want to say no and it will continue for us that's an important all right let's give it a minute so what do this uh, project workbench do is that it's it's a project workbench in detail view you will have a detail of selected project phase so that selected project phase is going to be in detail you can see that like the analytics you can see this is the project that I have which is service now PPM implementation now the default is planning under planning but you can see the detail you can see the analytics the resource the financial the status report so it's really 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 a great place if you are managing a single project you can do so so if you are managing another project you can also uh, those are the two projects that I have earlier as you can see them so you can go back and forth to manage those projects easily here all right hope you guys get a um, good insight about the uh, project workspace and also the planning console let me know if you have